what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys our uh, is in a very big trouble as the chicago state university have denied issuing certificate to him now according to the information the legal battle over the validity of the certificate that bola Tenable submitted to the independent national electoral commission INEC to contest the february 25th presidential election has taken a new twist as chicago state university denied issuing the document to him now on tuesday a u.s district court in illinois had a subpoena application filed by Atiko abubakar Tinubu's main challenger and the candidate of the opposition people's democratic party pdp seeking Chicago State University record and testimonies related to Tinubu's education at the school. Now, this is what happened. The Chicago State University lawyer, Mike Hayes, told the judge, Jeffrey Gilbert, that the school could not authenticate or deny Tinubu's certificate as either genuine or fake because he did not know where or how he obtained the certificate he tendered to INEC. Now look at this. He also went on to say the school record showed that Tinubu attended the Chicago State University. But according to the lawyer, he said, but there were several discrepancies that could not be explained by the school's administrator under oath. Now, so the discrepancy include the date of June 2022, 20, 1977, on Tinubu's certificate which was two years before he graduated in 1979. The name of Elnora Daniel as the school president who signed the certificate even though she only became the president of the school in 1998 and left in 2008. And the typographical font and headers error on the document. Now, Hayes went on to say, is the diploma authentic or is it a forgery? My client can answer yes to either of these questions. Abubakar's lawyer, Alexander de Gramont, said the document and testimonies were being sought for use in the Nigerian Supreme Court, where Abubakar plans to appeal the September 6 ruling of the Court of Appeal that upheld Tenebo's election. Now, the Gramont Articles Abubakar lawyer said, Your Honor, we don't know whether the Supreme Court could be receptive to the new evidence or not, but we just want to be able to present the new evidence from them to them from the Chicago State University. We already have them, the document. What we are seeking is CSU, that is Chief, uh, Chicago State University Authentication, or their explanation for some of the discrepancies. Abubakar has until September 20, that's a ticket Abubakar, he has up to 20, September 20th to file his appeal at the Supreme Court, which is the final arbiter in the presidential election dispute in Nigeria. It is illegal under the Nigerian constitution to submit false documents to INEC and several politicians have lost their seats for such offenses. Tenebo submitted his certificate to INEC in June 2022 as part of his eligibility requirement to run for president. He claimed he graduated from Chicago State University in 1979 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. However, his certificate has been a subject of controversy and litigation since then as Aobaka and other critics have questioned its authenticity and accused him of forgery. Alright guys, what do you guys think? Tenebu is in a very big trouble this time around. As the Chicago State um, Management said they cannot authenticate the uh, certificate that Tenebu issued to INEC. They cannot authenticate it. That they did not issue that certificate. And now according to them, they said another discrepancy again. The president to which Chinobu actually put in that certificate that signed the certificate for him, that's, that president was not there in 1979 when Chinobu claimed he graduated from 
the Chicago State University. And that this president, what's her name again? Um, okay, could not. Okay, let me check out the name. All right, look at it. They said that Elnora Daniel, as a school president, who signed the certificate, even though she only became Tinubu, put Elnora Daniel as the name of the president of the school. They used to call their own president, not VC. You know, Elnora Daniel was the one who Tinubu actually indicated, signed the document to him, his degree certificate to him. But meanwhile, the school discovered that Eleanora Daniel was the VC or the president of the school from 1998 to 2008, just 10 years. And that he, she was not there when Tenebu claimed she graduated, he graduated from the university. And another error again is that it is a female that attended the university and not a male. That's where, that's where Tenebu was trying to, Tenebu even admitted this discrepancy but he claim it is not his own error you know so which error is it whose error is it so this is a very big problem for Tinubu right now so all eyes are on the supreme court and what again we don't know is that will the supreme court admit this new evidence that's the another question will they admit it because the politics that they may try to play out that this document are not admissible in court so we don't actually know those of you who are knowledgeable about the law, do you think that the Supreme Court will admit this new document as exhibits? Because we know that the Supreme Court is not hearing the matter all over again. They are looking into the judgment of the tribunal to fix, either to uh, point out errors or either affirm the judgment. That's what the Supreme Court is out for. So what do you guys think? Um, this With this alone, Tenebu is stands to be qualified disqualified. I mean, with this alone, Tenebu stands to be disqualified. You know, the reason why the, the, the US government, according to information, they said that because Tenebu did not want to invade Niger, Tenebu's refusal to invade Niger that they warned him several times. But they see the pressure on Tenebu, although they are pressure from outside, from France and the Western country for him to invade Niger. But back home, the pressure is also much. Already the Senate have already kicked against Tenebu invading Niger. All Nigerians, virtually all Nigerians, chieftains, elder statesmen, have all warned Tenebu not to go to war with Niger. They've all won. So Tenebu had to backtrack. And uh, this is backfiring on him because Tenebu was a puppet of the West. He's their puppet. You see, so if you look at a lot of number of policies Tinubu had brought, okay, recently they even invited him to come and ring one bell. Is it uh, forgotten the this is a stock exchange? You know what? What I want something, something Wall Street. They invite Tinubu to come and ring bell. How will you invite a whole president of a country to come and ring a bell? If Tinubu should be having anything to do, he should be president to president of a country, and not with a particular organization calling him to come. And instead of them to invite. Shetima, they could have as well have invited uh, Shetima, the vice president, and not directly the president. You know, even Nigeria Stock Exchange here, we used to they, they used to invite the video, invite Two Face, invite others to come and ring the bell. He's not what to invite the president. So what people are pointing out is that there is a double standard in the U.S. policy toward Tinubu since he did not do their bidding. So they are now fighting him and they want to punish him. They want to punish him for that. So, guys, I uh, wouldn't want to go that far. What do you guys think? I've asked a question here. Will the Supreme Court admit this new evidence? I think Obaka has up to 20th of September to, to file his appeal at the Supreme Court. Uh, but the question is, will this evidence be accepted?